Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Roach. The change has small businesses in York County asking for big help in Washington. With more on that, here's eight on your side, government reporter Pete Montine. Cushioning Case New Holland Parts is on the mind of colony paper workers, but cushioning the blow of the Affordable Care Act is on the mind of its owner. It's um, uh, a tough environment. Owner and President Fred Callahan says the new law builds more problems than profit. The company now spends more than $200,000 each year on employee health insurance. It impacts everything you do and impacts the margins that you have to, you have to uh, work on. Yeah, I can see it. Why don't we just... That's why Republican Congressman Scott Perry was invited here to see the law's impact on this company's bottom line and maybe its production line. We're being told that uh, Obamacare is affecting job creation. And if this is a disincentive, as I think it will be, and that's what I think we're going to find out today. The other side of this argument, namely the president, says his plan helps middle class workers who've seen their insurance premiums go up. This is not working. It, 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 you know, I understand the laudable goal of health care for everybody, but this policy, the way it's been borne out, is not having that effect. Here are other business owners asked the congressman about the law, which goes into effect October 1st. They hope Congress will make a move. Let's table this. <laughs> let's, let's go back to the drawing board and rethink how we're going about this. So this company no longer feels boxed in by the law. In York County, Pete Muntean, on your side, News 8.